Hello there, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday, and Tuesday. welcome to... We're getting into some of the last fun... We're getting into the nitty-gritty. Fun, fall, all. crazy, fall, leaves, <laughs> cold, chilly Halloween videos. It snowed here the other night. It did. So it doesn't feel like fall anymore, and well, I don't like it at all. It definitely still looks like fall, because the snow is not sticking. <laughs> it's gray, and there's still dead leaves everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but we just counted, and we only have, like, four days left to do fun fall videos. And, except one exception so if you haven't like looked at the calendar or seen what day halloween is halloween is on a saturday which you know would be what's sold saturday but i'm not going to give any hints all i will say is that's not going to be what's sold saturday video we are not going to have what's sold saturday on halloween we're going to have something so fun it's going to be so fun so 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 fun like you are not going to want to miss out on it I'm literally going to remind you guys every video from now until then because it's I'm gonna be so, so excited. Like, I'm, I'm pumped. Yeah. You knew we couldn't just do a normal What's on Saturday on Saturday. No, it on Halloween. Halloween. That's, that's no. unacceptable. No, so, incorrect. Stay tuned for that. You're definitely going to want to. So, for one of our final fall videos, we decided that we would do 10 Bolo boot, boot brands, brands and styles. because i saw a decent amount of you asking for that since we obviously had kind of broken apart the categories for mm -hmm. fall and we've been like focusing on them we've let's been kind give, of chucking them out as we go we decided we would finally give boots their little moment to shine I boots i wear boots all the time the thing with boots i would say is that some of them at least to me seem a little more obvious so some of these i feel mm -hmm. like you might be like Duh. Okay. But yeah. we had to include them because these are what we would consider probably the 10 boot brands that we would be most excited to find. Or that would sell the fastest. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there are a few, like, obvious ones possibly. Yeah. But there are definitely maybe some that you haven't heard of as well. And some that you might not now do super well. You've yes. maybe just seen them. Mm -hmm. But first, I would like to talk about, like, what styles of boots are doing well right now. I know when we said in the 10 fall categories, we've made so many now, I'm like, which one was it in? 10 fall categories, when we talked about boots. Oh, no. We are no, talking about the, the styles, right? Yeah. The styles, the, do this, not that. We talked the, about how riding boots and knee-high boots <laughs> are not in. And I definitely saw a lot of you say, like, to each their own. And we what I'm, struck a nerve I want to clarify, sorry. we are not saying they can't sell. No. We aren't even saying we don't like them for that one specifically. Mm -hmm. We just know people that work at Plato's Closet and they were informed by, well, and Style Encore, and they were informed by their, like, headquarters. Like, Winmark, to like not, Plato's Corporate. To not get those anymore. And they are yes. not as popular as they were just because they were so popular. You, could, you couldn't hit anybody without selling a pair of riding boots. Like, yes. every single brand that had shoes had a pair of riding yes. boots. Yes, we were mainly saying they are fading <laughs> they off. They are not as popular as yes. they once was, but they still have a good yes. following. <laughs> they definitely still have their brands. They still have their customer. So, like, don't skip them all. We were just saying, not as popular anymore. Anyways, these styles of boots that are really, really popular right now, and they kind of trickle into these brands a lot, are western style boots like a cowboy or cowgirl boot or something with like silver detailing on it yes mm -hmm. a lot of people do really like those i feel like those aren't as much of an everyday one but people do like them for like instagram pictures specific events. events or yeah mm -hmm. um ankle boots now that would be more of the everyday ankle boot is kind of the go-to yeah, for everyday boots. boots nowadays Chelsea boots are the super trendy one for 2020 oh, they're so cute. those doc they're martin so chelsea cute. boots i feel like are everywhere i feel like you see like every girl and woman and maybe men on instagram post that they just bought some doc martin chelsea boots this fall i want to i've seen so many <laughs> i want to pair so many combat and like worker boots kind of like the like timberland or like a chunkier like you know more substantial yeah like that cat mm -hmm. brand like we said mm -hmm. the construction cat brand they make them um, like mm -hmm. ariat and all those ones make them carhartt. Um, carhartt yeah and then for the styles like those the brand isn't always super super important i feel like with boots people do kind of look for more of the appearance and sometimes yeah versus mm -hmm. yeah especially like when it comes to like it. i feel like that really applies to the combat ones it's just like and the worker ones yeah like if you go to urban outfitters there's like on their website there's like a billion different worker boots from like a billion different brands and like they mm -hmm. all look cute and i'm sure if you found any of them they would, they do, would well. do fine yeah, yeah. so 
Let's jump Captain into the specific Beans. brands, but those are the styles from these brands or even from other brands you want to venture off into yes. that would do well this year. I feel like I have a lot of these brands. Like, I wear them all the time. <laughs> I feel um, like the you first always, one, any list we have, you're like, like, I have everything on this list. I do. I have a lot of clothes. <laughs> the first one being good old Doc Martens. You cannot go wrong with a Doc Martin 1468 eyelet boot. They're amazing. They the good old pair of, you can't go wrong with like a classic pair of leather boots. Mm -hmm. And Doc Martens definitely like makes the best ones. And they really like all do good. Like the Chelsea boots do good. And they hold good. their value too. Like if you find a good pair of Doc Martens and you put a little bit of effort into them and like, you know, clean them up a little bit, get a new pair of laces. Or even I've, the two pair that I've sold of like normal Doc Martens have been beat and they did fantastic. Didn't you find that pair of like knee high ones at the that like time? The 20 ring The or 20 whatever. eyelet, those give me headaches to look at. I don't think I could do that, honestly. Yeah, but all of the like eyelets from like mid shin to like knee, any eyelet count, well. they all do really mm -hmm. well. Yeah, and actually the really high ones are like a lot more expensive, so they can do really well. Yes. And they're sold on like Dolph Kill and stuff, so like. Yeah, they and I think free people like they do really. They've really been sold well. a lot of places. Yeah. Next up, I feel like this is like Levi's. You guys cannot get through a video of ours without me mentioning it at some point, and that would be Lucky Brand boots. <sighs> so with Lucky Brand Lucky boots, brand. I would say that basically all styles can do well, mm -hmm. but there definitely are certain like standout styles. Let's all say it together now. <laughs> basil or basil boots oh, that is like they do so well i don't know lucky must have really been the first to do the like double side zip low boot or something or it must just be like a really comfortable shoe i, I don't have know. no idea yeah i love selling them but i don't even know the like catch with them mm -hmm. i don't really know but that is the style that no matter what every year always does really well flies out of the door yes so for them. sure if you see those get them there mm -hmm. might be like a basil 2.0 because i know lucky likes to do the whole like two and three thing those should do really well too. Just Lungs all of the basils. Basil. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ryan's done some like knee high ones. Oh yeah. I've been a little bit better with the um the like ankle booty more, so it has like a bigger heel. It looks like the basil, but there's only one zipper. Mm -hmm. Those I think for me do a little bit better. Yeah. I've had but... like a low cut one where it almost cuts down onto the ankle. That didn't do as well. Even though they were cute, it didn't do as well. Your snake ones. Oh, those snake ones did really well. I yeah. don't remember the name of that one off the top of my head, but it was like very similar to the Basil Booty again. Yeah. It was like a pull-on style and that one did really well. Yeah. With Lucky, search the name and the bins. Definitely. Again, all Just styles are worth the shot. Mm -hmm. But there are like certain standout styles. I don't know all of them because I'm such a like basil heavy person for Lucky Boots. You really but, are. But yeah, Ryan's tried a few other ones and they do well. Do so Lucky well. Boots do fantastic. They use really nice leather. They do. Okay, number three is Bedsu. So Bedsu is very similar to another a boot brand coming up on our list, but they are meant to look beat broken and torn. Like you ran them through a lawnmower. They're very, very, very heavy on like distressing and like, you know, intentional wear. Cause I think like that's the vibe. Is like not busted, but like not a lagging look, but like distress. Bring the golden goose to the boot world. Yeah, exactly. Very that. They're also crazy expensive. They're yes. probably one of the more expensive brands on this list retail. Yeah. Um, some of them, like I think some of the older styles tend to not hold their retail value as much. Or if you find something that isn't like a leather, that one tends to not do as well as like a newer style, obviously, or like something that is a little bit older, but it's made out of leather. The leather ones do insane. Yeah. I have so never well. tried bed stew, but actually a lot of people, again, if you're on like the Instagram reseller world, a lot of people put bed stew with Rothy's and Teak's, which if you don't know, those mm -hmm. are like everyone's like ultimate bucket list Everybody's fine, like top three holders. For some reason. Time. But I know. all three of those are supposed to flip, like, instantly for, like, good money. Mm -hmm. They so, really do. They yeah. really do. Um, and they do have a ton of collabs with um, Free People and Anthropology and some of those other, like, you know, little boutique yeah, stores. they do use really insane leather. And, like, they they mm -hmm. feel expensive. Like, they're really good quality. A lot of the they're ones... very good quality. Yeah. A lot of the ones from this brand and the next one just, like, feel expensive. Mm -hmm. Which, always look up a boot if it feels expensive. Next up is probably the, mm, no, one of the most expensive ones on the list as well. Mm -hmm. This is a brand called Old Gringo. And I know that we've mentioned it once before. I don't think it was on a bolo. I think it was just on the, on the trend it video. It was in a haul at one point. Yeah. And that. a lot of you guys commented and said, I've seen this so many times and I never knew it was good. And I like fell out of my chair. Pick it up. Please pick it up. And I know a lot of people don't know about it, but like, 
get it. Oh my god, they're so expensive. <laughs> if you they're ever see so it again, expensive. grab them. So old Gringo is very Western style boot heavy, like mm -hmm. very very. I think that's like all they make. Is there like are Western. so few exceptions, including the one that I found. But it's very Western boot heavy. Most are like the classic cowboy where it goes up to your like mid shin. They do make the more lower and they ankle do make ones. like cowboy ankle booties, which is what I found. Yes, the first time that old Gringo entered our life was because this house. Ryan found found like an ankle height. I one. found it in a bin. I remember it was one of the best binge trips I ever had. And I looked at it. I was like, oh, what's this ugly little busted shoe? I turned it around and it's an old gringo on the bottom of the heel. And I like convulsed. Like I ascended for a hot minute. And Jack was I on the other end of the bin. And I said, find this shoe. I'm and I like screaming in him. It. I didn't know what they were, but I just remember he was like, find it. He was I like was, aggressive. I was like, <laughs> if you don't, and he was like running around was, the bin. I was getting to the point where if I had, to like take it out of somebody's car, I was contemplating it. <laughs> you know, like if I saw it in somebody's car, I would have said, hi, you know. <laughs> yeah, but old gringo, they make a lot of like very interesting cowboy boots. They it's usually like look, they look pretty boot. like interesting. They stand out. They're not just like the classic like embossed brown. Like they have interesting no. colors. Mm -hmm. They have distressing. They have like cracked silver leather yes. like Ryan's. Um, they're they're not always distressed. There are some that just look like they have like leaves going up, but they are usually interesting. <laughs> no matter what the design is, they stand It does <laughs> not matter the style of the design or anything. Mm -hmm. They are all worth so much money. My one experience with Old Gringo was very, very recent. And I went to a yeah. thrift store around here in Iowa in and I Hale. found like they looked like Uggs. It was Sherpa lined, rubber sole, flat, literally Uggs. Ugh. Picture Uggs with some studs on it and it's like, normal leather not mm -hmm. suede not like like material somehow i saw them and i was just like i feel like those are old gringo i don't know what in me told me that that was just my like thrifter sense <laughs> your thrifter i go up to it spidey sense. flip it upside down never been worn and i see the old gringo logo seven dollars bought them sold them in four days it was for not two even a week hundred dollars i think i sold mine to a viewer for 250 back in the day mm -hmm. and mine were like uggs mine were not even like the like good old green like they weren't even like boots so get any of them that you see old literally new because there's an old label get that too like any age any style get them all mm -hmm. so enough about old gringo but we like oh, love it's gringo. such a to me that's like my teeks that's my rafis i like i want old gringo <laughs> same yeah okay so number five on our list i feel like we've all seen these because about this time of year they come out in droves. They do. They like hibernate and then they always come out just And it's as always popular. like right before Halloween. Yeah. When they just like Vroom. Everyone wants to wear them to pumpkin patches maybe. And like hay wraps. That's the tea. Um, we're talking about Sorel boots. So Sorel, I think the older styles I would still pick up in the bins just because like they're a little bit more like utilitarian. It's like, you know, a basic looking like snow boot, winter boot, whatever, but they're new stuff. If you can find a deal on some of these Sorrells, and I've seen some of these people on Instagram be like, I bought 250 pairs of Sorrell boots. Buy them. Buy them, buy them, buy them, buy them. They sell so fast. They sell almost next to retail, what I'm realizing. They, and like, all the styles do so good. All the colors do amazing. All the, you know, different, mm -hmm. like, variations of the boots with the heels and the boots with the thing on the bottom. It's like, especially the, like, wedge boots that have that, like, zigzag, like, bottom to them. I, I Those this, are what do so good. We'll put a picture here. But, yeah. like, that specific style, easy, like, 150 Yeah, 150, and it's so interesting. Bucks. We were at Nordstrom Rack literally this last weekend, and we were talking about how, like, obviously Sorel picked up on the fact that they're popular now because they retail at, like, 200 They're so expensive. And since when did Sorel retail at 200 I was like... I remember those being, like, when I was in high school, I remember in. them being, like, $80 at, like... Exactly. At, like, Von Mar. Yeah. And the thing is, like, even consignment stores have caught on to it. Like, the consignment stores are starting to price them at, it. like, 150 170 bucks. It is, like, impossible to find them cheap. So, if yeah. you find them, like, retail arbitrage for, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> under say, 30 like 50 or something. Even? I don't know. Yeah. That's a deal. Or a consignment store the bins or something. Snatch them. Goop them. Back to the, like, old ones, though. Yes, People used to love like Sorel kind of like winter boots back in the day. Mm -hmm. Definitely not the same market and not the same like value. No, you could but, still get 40, 50 bucks for them. Though. Yeah, like, definitely. But like they still sell for good money. I found some in the bins and I grabbed them and I put them on Marketplace and they sold for 30. 
So you can still definitely get them. Yes, you can. And still sell them. But definitely not the investment piece that the, lines the, up like, with the, the newer new pieces. Are. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so number six. It's my turn. Oh. <laughs> and number six. I wanted to talk about this one. I'm the only one who's found this brand. I wanted that one. <laughs> number six anyway. is a brand that I actually found the same day Ryan found his old gringo. So we were opened up to this big world of like fun boots, oh, boots. on the same day. It was a great and day. And I thought mine were going to have the same value because they actually looked, in my they opinion, were, almost more fun. I will say they were cooler than mine. Yeah. So. But they do not have the same value as old gringo, but they do have a lot. And that is called L'Artiste. L'Artiste. An L apostrophe Artiste. So it's La Artiste Day or La Artiste Day. I don't know. La Artiste Day makes a ton of different styles of boots. They make ankle and they make knee high. When you see a La Artiste Day boot, you gonna you'll know. know. You they know stand it. out. We went to a DSW this weekend. Oh, it's the coolest Every La Artiste Day stood out like crazy. And the thing with La Artiste Day. Especially a DSW. <laughs> and the thing with them is like they are sold at these more like attainable normal yeah, like stores. DSW. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like shoe carnival. Like they're so shoe carnival. They're sold at like regular stores, but they are like decently expensive. They sell I think for about a hundred to like two hundred. Two hundred if you find like the the primo ones. Like intense. They look like play. Hocus Pocus shoes. They really like really they look do. like this scene in Hocus Pocus where they all get like hanged. And, and Pat Mender's, yeah, Pat Mender's feet swing. Yeah. She looks like she's in a pair of lot of Tuesday shoes. Yeah, so, so they're, funny. like, they hold their value super well. Like, mm -hmm. if you find a pair that retailed at, like, 125 and they're in super good shape, you could listen for 100. You could probably get 100 bucks Easy. out of them. Yeah, because mm -hmm. they're just so interesting, and they make a lot of different styles. And I think people might want, like, certain specific styles, and then when, obviously, it's sold out at the store, you can't get it anymore. Mm -hmm. And they're all just so unique that you need to like hunt it they're out. They're so pretty. So, I yeah. kind of want to get a pair as like a pair of art teacher yeah, shoes. Yeah, my pair did extremely well when I found them in the bins. Okay, number seven. I feel like there isn't too much to say about it because y'all know. Uh, the brand is Hunter. Hunter boots do amazing, period. Rain boots. That's it. Rain boots, <laughs> that's it. The boot socks, if you can find them, they sell for 30 bucks. Yeah. They're great. Everything Hunter does well, and it all just is so expensive. So like, it's very pricey retail, and also I've heard they are very uncomfortable because it's literally like it's a rubber boot. I think that's why you get the socks, and that's how they rope you into like buying the Paying socks. Also. Sixty dollars for a pair of fleece freaking socks? Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Incorrect. Buy them from me. I'm um, a pair of the bits. And I will just say, stepping off from boots, I've had Hunter loafers, penny loafers, and they did really well too. So I think it's Hunter just, shoes. Period. Everything yeah. Hunter is expensive. Grab it. Sell it. Whatever. Very Except easy. the Target collab. No, don't do that. <laughs> Stay away from her. I will say, um, good advice I've heard when listening to Hunter Boots is put uh, the height name, because they all have, like, mm -hmm. different... It's not just, like, short, medium, mm -hmm. like, tall. Like, they have a specific, like, name to them. Put that in your uh, title or description. And if you need to clean them up, use olive oil. Olive oil to get rid of, like, boot, boot rash. Boot, like, drying or whatever that is. Boot fogging. I don't know. Next up, another one that also doesn't have, I would say, like, a ton of information behind it. It's just a be on the lookout for <laughs> They just them. do really good. <laughs> Rag and Bone Boots. Again, you'll pick one up. You'll, without even looking you at the brand, it. you'll you know, know it's expensive. I very, sold very a pair brand. of, like, velvet, silver oh, Rag and Bone Boots for, like, so 200 which is crazy to resell they, for shoes for that much. Not even speaking shoes, any Rag and Bone clothing is so high quality. Yeah, so it makes but, really... It makes, really, it makes really good sense that their shoes are some really good quality I feel like clothes. their shoes do even better than, like, any other clothes mm -hmm. do. Um, kind of similar to that. I didn't put this on the list, but I almost wanted to. Zadig and Voltaire boots. <gasps> oh, they're so cute. Well, oh, we, my God. We went into the outlet, and I don't think I've ever seen cuter boots in my entire life. We went into the outlet I wanted to buy them so bad. They were, like, studded. I already bought a hoodie. Thick leather, like, like made in, in Spain, in western shoes. boots. And they're, like, they're like, they're a good chunk of change. So if we see Zendig or Rag and Bone, get them. I feel like everyone would know that anyways, but we're just reinstating that they do Please do really pick well. pick them up. Yes, they do better than other like mid-tier luxury slash luxury. Oh, I would say the Zendig and Voltaire boots are like luxury, luxury. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. them boys are expensive. Okay, number eight on our... Number num nine. Na number nine. I can't count. I'm sorry. It's too early for this. <laughs> number nine is Freebird. So like when I was talking about bed stew this is another brand price wise about the same they're still really expensive i also didn't realize that freebird makes purses as well hmm. little side note um they also do a ton of collabs with free people and anthropology they're also sold at anthropology and free people separately 
they're so expensive. They do a lot of the distressing as well. It says Stephen by Freebird on the bottom. Do not get confused. They are not Steve Madden. Yes. No, And when you see Stephen by Steve Madden, that is not Freebird. When you see those clothes that say Freebird, that is not the same That's brand. That's different. That's TJ Maxx. It's, put, shoes, put her back. <laughs> it's shoes that say Freebird by Stephen. And I think they have like a little bird. It's like an eagle. Flying over it. Or a little like phoenix or yeah. something. It is another one of those ones where when you feel it, you'll know. You'll know. They're heavy too. My, they're very heavy and they're very like, you can tell that this is like a lot of leather. Yes. I feel like mm -hmm. a lot of these ones we've covered focus on boots. Freebird does do a lot of other styles of they shoes They make leather well. shoes. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I had a Freebird, like, Golden Goose knockoff, and oh, they sold in, like, one day for, I don't even remember, it was, like, 150 bucks. It was they over sold, 100 bucks easily. They sold mm -hmm. for a ton, so it's a really expensive brand, mm -hmm. and definitely pick it up when you find it. Yes. And last on our, la on our least, on our le last but not least <laughs> on our least, is Timberlands, and this is another one that probably seems a little obvious, but Timberlands, Timberlands. are kind of, like stocks but not doing the same thing like they're having their moment it's mm -hmm. not as big of a moment no. i would say but there are a lot of people that really like a pair of timberlands and i feel like they maybe had their moment like five four or five years ago like a really big moment where like everyone yeah. was like my timberlands no i remember because um they introduced the heel timberlands and oh. like Nicki minaj wore them yes, somewhere exactly and everybody was just was like <clears throat> yeah it was actually i remember all the girls in my high school had them yeah they so ever ever <laughs> since then they have been quite popular maybe not to the same extent but still really mm -hmm. popular people like all kinds people love the classic they love the all ones. black ones too yes mm -hmm. people love the pink like barbie pink ones oh, there's one cute though my mom is actually <laughs> selling cute. some that are like floral printed mm -hmm. all of them do well and it's i don't do they make anything besides like the worker boot i guess besides the heel and the worker boot um yeah, no, they make, like, other kinds of shoes, but I think, like... It's pretty specific to the worker boot. Yeah. I feel it's like kinda, if you're going to go with, like... It's kind of, like, oh, yeah, they do. If you're going to go with a Timberland to sell or, or to buy, because most with, people want this, the boot. it's the worker go boot. Go with the, the classic-looking one. Or, if, obviously, you find them in the bins, you know. Yeah. Throw them in your cart. Just because the retail's higher. But I really mm -hmm. don't think the other shoes by Tim's do as well, but the no. worker boot should do super well, kind of, no mm -hmm. matter where you put it. Mm -hmm. It's going to do good. Yes, ma'am. That's all we got for Tuesday. That's all we got. We had no script for this video, so I'm kind of proud of us. Off the cuff. We usually don't have a script, but we have like a lot of information written out in facts. front of us. All we have right now is one here. through ten. <laughs> so that was pretty good. Good for us. <laughs> Proves that I have a lot of uh, brain space about women's shoes. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining us for this 10 for Rola fall. Life. Let us know. We have three more fall videos to do. We want those other two Let us know what you want to see because we're running out of time. Let us know because we want to do what you guys want to see. Yes. And also thank you, Jean Michelle from the Bin Pickers for this amazing Can video. We talk this about this amazing moment. cardigan. No, show the other side. I know. Wait, Swap first off, look girl. at these buttons. Are you kidding? That's almost like my favorite part. They're pumpkin buttons. And on the back. I almost said it's The scarecrow's on the scary. other side. I had my coffee this morning. <laughs> I absolutely love this thing. I love as how soon they as gave I saw... him like hair. Like they, they, they gave him like I know, hair. and his buttons are buttons too. That's so cute. As soon as I saw this on their haul, I emailed them <laughs> while it was still playing. I was like, Michelle, like, Michelle? Michelle give that to me. <laughs> she Which it. she didn't give it to me, I bought it from her. But I'm just like, where did she you get it? She said, send it off her. Yeah. Um, her. Anyways. We're going to cut it off here. Again, let us know what you want to see for the last three fall videos. And we will see you on Thursday for whatever you guys want to see. Yes, we will. And then after that, we'll see you on Friday for another fun fall not reselling video on the second channel. A nice calm down video. Oh, and if you want to listen, we did a podcast. <gasps> with, with Daniela Ivy Blush and, and Lori. Lori yes. Boston Found over yes. on the Swifters Villa. Yes. So and please go was, listen to that. That was, that was so, much, so fun. much fun. We literally just... Lori and Daniela are the nicest people. We they had are. such a good time. Yes. They're so fun. Yes. I want to go visit them. We also them. gave some good information, but we also chit chatted. It was, so, like, we talked you... about everything. We talked about American Girl Doll. <laughs> what else we talked about? Real, real. Oh, we talked about the mall. We talked about malls. <laughs> we talked so about fun. Nordstrom Rack. Yeah. Stuff. So if, you, if you're going on like a drive or something, you can turn that on. Or if you're listing, it. take yes. some pictures. Yeah, I'll link that below. So check that out as Please well. Please do. Go follow them. So we will see you. On Thursday. On Thursday. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.